there, Leo. Welcome to Divine Conversations and welcome to your monthly reading for the month of August of 2021. Thank you all so very much for tuning in. If you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is Eric. It is very, very nice to meet you. And if you are returning, what's up, squad? So general reading, guys, please make sure to take what resonates and leave what doesn't. This also could be uh, uh, directed towards a cross watcher, meaning that the roles may be able to be or can be reversed if that resonates for you, yes? Please don't try to fit anything into your life that doesn't fit naturally. Um, this is a timeless reading, even though it is dated for and is coming through or is a message that's coming through for the month of August of 2021, it doesn't absolutely have to resonate for you at that time. Whenever you're guided to watch this reading and it resonates, then that's the message for you in that moment. If you would like to get a personal reading with me, I am available for that. All of the information can be found in the description box below. Also, um, if you're interested, please make, uh, uh, and, and you know, you want some extra content or whatnot, whatever, check us out on Patreon, patreon.com slash divine conversations. The link can be found to that in the description box as well. I just want to get into it. I don't even want to talk about all this extra stupid stuff. Like, let's just get into the message. Okay. Pre-shuffle, Leo. Cool. So, uh, Leo, it kind of feels like you're between a rock and a hard place right now. However, what I feel like is you're handling it, for the most part, you're handling it quite well. What I'm getting is that there may be some sort of harshness coming through for you right now, but that harshness is in service of releasing yourself from burdens from burdens and boundaries. I'm sorry, not, bur not boundaries, but setting boundaries, but releasing yourself from burdens. You do have the 10 of wands in reverse as your overall energy. Now, um, I do want to mention that the Ten of Wands being in reverse as the last card, as the card here at the bottom of the deck, as your, as your overall energy is significant. Because I, as a reader, I don't allow my cards to live in the deck in reverse. The only time I'll read a reversal is if I'm doing a free pull, right? And I'm just letting the cards come out as they will and they land in reverse. This card obviously was put back into the deck as a reversal, okay? So that happened for a reason, and now it's coming through for you, Leo. Uh, and it's representing you releasing yourself from burdens, Al along with the rest of the cards here, but we'll get into that in a second. Underneath the Ten of Wands, at the bottom of the deck, you do have the Nine of Wands, to the Ace of Cups, to the Star, to the Moon, okay? Then to the World. So the situation here is saying, this is saying for you right now, Leo, um, you're in the process of ending burdens um, and, and uh, what is the word I'm looking for? It's like there are certain attachments that people have to you or you have to others or whatnot, whatever, or there are certain attachments or maybe old alliances, allegiances, um, alignments that no longer resonate with you, that are no longer serving you, and you are working or wishing to release yourself from it. Either you're wishing to release yourself from it or you're working towards that. I really do feel like you're working towards it, though, on certain levels. That could mean that could be different for everybody. But I feel like there is definitely at least an energy of you working on releasing yourself from these burdens. Continue pushing forward, Leo. Continue moving forward. Do not give up. Nine of Wands. Because what you are doing is in service of greater love and greater authenticity for yourself, Ace of Cups, okay? You are following your wish fulfillment, the star. You're following the inner guidance system. You're following what your inner self, your higher self, what your heart is leading you towards, okay? Things are not as they look on the surface right now. But for some of you, that is exactly the reason why you are working on releasing yourself from these burdens, because it's illusionary, Whatever sort of attachments, allegiances, whatever it is you have going on in your life right now, Leo, that you are so adamant about releasing yourself from, there is very good reason for it because it's illusionary, the moon. And it's showing up as the moon and not something like the seven of cups. It's showing up as the moon because this is a massive, massive lesson for you on a spiritual level, okay? But this is all coming to a close for you with the world here. All right, let's talk about what else you have because you do have quite a few cards that are coming out on the um, on the table for you. First card that I noticed here, actually the first card that came out for your pre-shuffle, Leo, is Temperance. All right, not Temperance, I'm so sorry, the Hanged Man. Um, the Hanged Man is representing you being, is representing you being caught between that rock and a hard place. But if you look at this card, I'm using the um, the Revelations deck, right? Is that the name of it? Hold on. 
the Revelations Tarot. Yeah, I'm using the Revelations Tarot. And this tar this deck has like a, an upright and a reversed version to it. And so, uh, again, I'm only taking reversed cards if they come out in a free pull, which they have in this case. The interesting thing for you, Leo, is this temper. I'm sorry, this Hanged Man energy came out sideways. Um, but my... And it came out sideways, I feel like, Leo, because you're really working on getting yourself out of a really stuck or stagnant or, um, or a situation or a situation that just has no further development, okay? Uh, it came out sideways because you're working on coming out of that. But then also, if you look at this card here, you see the upright version of this card has this person holding their hands out and what looks like coins falling down over them. I feel like you are in a point, the universe has kind of backed you in a, into a little bit of a corner, Leo, and you are finally uh, releasing some sort of attachments or releasing some sort of resistance to what the universe is trying to bring through for you at this time in your life. And quite frankly, I want to say, Leo, that the universe has been trying to bring this forward to you for a while, but there has been resistance for whatever reason. And I'm not trying to sit here and try and, 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 and uh, label what this resistance is for you. It could have been a good for good reason. It could have been for stubborn reasons. Who knows? It depends on you, on you and your situation, your life circumstances. But the, the universe has finally gotten you to be accepting of what it's actually trying to bring forward for you. Because what I'm getting with these pentacles or these coins that are falling down, that are showering down on this individual, it's the actual abundance that you are meant for, okay? But there is some sort of convoluted way or kind of, you may be seeing it as a ass backwards way of getting it or you not really realizing the, the type of abundance that the universe is trying to shower down upon you, but that's specifically because of what the universe is asking you to release from your life. The Ten of Wands in reverse. Let's look at this other card, these other stack of cards here. Now, these cards came out face up along with the Hanged Man, okay? And then there's another group of cards that came out face down. So, what people are seeing on the surface for you right now, Leo, in terms of this, uh, these face up cards, you have the Two of Wands, the Queen of Swords, the Magician, and the Three of Cups, all in reverse. So right now, there are some people that may be looking at you like you're a complete and total asshole. Queen of Swords in reverse, okay? And what's really interesting about this, Leo, is two weeks ago, uh, in one of the Your Week Ahead videos, uh, live streams that I did, we talked about the Queen of Swords, it came out in reverse for you, Leo. And the message there was, we understand that you have some hard boundaries to hold right now, but you don't need to be an asshole about it, okay? Like, if you have nothing nice to say, then you're better off not saying anything at all. Because even though you may be well within your right to read somebody the riot act, to tell somebody about themselves, to rip somebody a brand new asshole, you speaking harmful messages or sending harmful words or whatnot, whatever, is only going to do more destruction in the situation than if you were to just keep your mouth shut and just go about your business and don't even engage, don't even get involved, don't even dignify it with a response, like that kind of energy. Like it's not even worth it. If you can't, if you can't share your message without being extremely harsh and literally trying to cut someone up because you're so angry or so pissed off, so upset, so passionate, whatever, then you're better off not saying anything at all. It's not even worth it, okay? So there's that Queen of Swords energy in reverse. I'm not really getting that you're actually doing that, but this might be the way you're coming across. Okay, what Spirit is saying is this is how you're coming across. Oh well, <laughs> okay, because honestly, the Three of Cups in reverse, there's some sort of social situation or some sort of uh, situation that was celebratory, that was kind of community oriented, blah, 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 but you are no longer resonating with it any longer. You no longer want anything to do with this situation. Three of Cups in reverse, the Magician in reverse, the Two of Wands in reverse, the answer is no. Queen of Swords in reverse, the answer is no. I don't want to be involved with this situation any longer. I don't want to manifest situations like this any longer. I am done. I'm getting myself out of here is what this is saying. 
on the surface, you might be, you're coming across as, or you're being perceived as, to some people, in some situations, in some circumstances, I'm not saying to everyone, but to some people, Leo, you are coming across as a complete and total asshole. But that's perfectly fine. As long as you're not intentionally trying to hurt somebody, that doesn't really matter. Because that's literally just someone else's opinion. And what I'm feeling for this energy, Leo, is that the people that are really looking at you like, what the fuck is her problem or his problem? Those are the people you really want to stay away from. Those are the people that you are actively and actually trying to cut ties with. So quite frankly, Leo, their opinion in this, in this situation means absolutely nothing. That doesn't mean you have to be an asshole about it. That doesn't mean that you have to go looking for a fight. The Queen of Swords in reverse is the type of energy that goes looking to cut some shit up, to cut some people up. And a lot of the time, there really is no real reason for it. She's just feeling some type of way. She's feeling all up in her feelings. She's got a case of the ass, and now she wants to rip somebody a new one. I don't feel like that's really how this is playing out for you, Leo, because this is just how people are seeing things on the surface. Let's look at what's underneath the surface for you, Leo. These are the cards that came out face down. So what people don't see is that card that I kept saying in the beginning with the hanged man, right? What was that? That was temperance, right? Temperance. With the king of cups and the page of wands. Leo, your heart is in the right place. You are centered, you are grounded, you are stable, you are seeing things very, very clearly. You are approaching whatever situation you find yourself in, uh, facing right now, you're approaching it from an emotionally balanced and stable point of view. You're approaching it from a very spiritually or personally balanced point of view, King of Cups and Temperance. You are changing the game. You have a very different message to send. You are maybe even a very different person at this point. And you are handling things accordingly, King of Cups. The King of Cups is an energy of doing something that you know is difficult, but is needing to be done. The Page of, Pen the page of Wands is re-identifying yourself and or having a new message to send. Changing your alignment, changing your affiliation, that kind of energy. So underneath the surface, what people don't see, actually, quite frankly, Leo, what I'm hearing is what people are refusing to see is that you are approaching this from a very balanced and stable point of view. The difference here is that your alliance, your allegiance, your sense of self, your sense of reality has changed. And whomever is putting up the resistance, the fight, are the people or the circumstances that you are changing your way out of. The associations with those people, the associations with those circumstances, with that job, with that environment, with that social group, with that family situation, it's all changing because you are changing and you are doing what is ultimately right for you, regardless as to whether people like it or not. And that's what's making it slightly difficult. But the difficult, the most difficult aspect of this, Leo, is you having to keep your cool up against the riot act that other people may be reading you because they don't like what you're doing. They don't like what you're saying. They don't like who you've become. Fuck them. Who the fuck cares, Leo? You sure don't. That's why you're coming across as this bitch, Queen of Swords in Reverse. I've had enough. All right, Leo, there's that. <laughs> so let me reset this. I am turning this 10 of wands upright so that it lives upright in my deck. Whew. But we're gonna get into the rest of your reading here, Leo. Uh, we're gonna look at whatever messages you have coming forward. I'm gonna reset this a little bit. Just shuffle this up just to reset. And we are going to get started, yeah? I'm gonna get this five shuffles for you, Leo. Here you go. One. For my Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, check your Sun, Moon, and Rising sign guys to get a complete video or a complete message, a complete, complete look at the message for you this month. Yes, this is two. Or within this time period for you. Also, if you're looking for love messages specifically, check your Venus sign. This is three. For Leo, for the month of August 2021, what messages do we have for Leo for August of 2021? This is four. Oops, let's check this again. This is four. 
Good Lord, something wants to be seen here. Now it's the Knight of Cups. Your heart absolutely is in the right place, Leo. This is four. Your heart is in the right place. Don't let the naysayers get you down. And this is five. All right, Leo. We're gonna cut the deck. Boop! <laughs> okay, here we go. Overall energy for you, Leo. You have... <laughs> You have strength. This is you. First of all, this is your energy. Leo, or strength represents the sign of Leo in the tarot deck. All right? But this is you being real fierce. And I mean, like, you're definitely in an energy, Leo, of keeping your ego, your emotions in check, whatnot, whatever. But man, don't poke the bull. Don't pull the lion's tail. Like, are y'all really serious? Don't pull the lion's tail. Don't pull the lion's mane. You're going to get bit. There you are. You are showing so much strength in your life right now, Leo. Not only in how you are directing these changes or are aligning with whatever changes need to be made in your life. The amount of strength that you're... <laughs> that you're that you're putting forward just holding yourself back from getting into some unnecessary, messy, messy, messy-ass situations, man, is commendable. <laughs> okay, Leo, I get it. I've got a shit ton of strong Leo energy rolling through me, and I'm definitely resonating with this right now. This is commendable, okay? People are trying your last nerve, Leo. Underneath strength, you have the nine of fucking pentacles. Underneath the Nine of Pentacles, you have the High Priestess. And underneath the High Priestess is the Nine of Wands to what? Judgment. Leo, keep going. Please keep going. Because first of all, like I said, you're standing in your, in your power with this Nine of Pentacles, also with strength. You are literally standing on your own. There is, there are, there is definitely an energy of giving no fucks. <laughs> this is so perfect because I was just talking about this in morning coffee today. But this is you standing against, going against the grain, yes, but with very good reason. Like, you're not going against the grain, Leo, just to shake some shit up or just to be a pain in someone's ass. No, you're going against the grain because this actually resonates with you in your life. You are literally standing on your own, making your own decisions, saying, no, this is what I want to do. This is what I'm going to do instead. And sure, it's rubbing people the wrong way, but that's none of your concern. Why? Because you are getting your guidance, guidance from a higher source. Okay? And that higher source is your higher self, the high priestess. And that is why you are able to stand so firmly, so confidently in whatever conviction it is you're standing in. Because it's coming from a, 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 a deeper part of yourself. So that is why, Leo, you really just need to keep going because you are absolutely answering the call to rise above heartbreak, to break yourself, three of swords, to break yourself out of some sort of mental prison or confinement, eight of swords, that at one point you were being told or you were being fed this lie that you can't get out of. This is you now. This is us now. This is where we find ourselves. This is just where we're going to be. No, fuck that. This is where you might want to be. This is definitely not where I want to be. Nowhere near where I want to be. And no, I am not obligated to stay here with you. You are stable, solid, grounded enough in your sense of self, in your conviction, four of wands, to absolutely say no. What's the matter with you, Jinx? I bet you she brought a lizard in and now that lizard has gotten away from her and she's sitting there crying like, why won't you play with me, bitch? Because I don't want to play with you. You going to eat me. That's why. <laughs> no, I'm not going to eat you. I'm just going to give you little love nipples and create gaping open wounds on your body with my claws. But shh, you don't have to worry about that, right? That's really indicative of what, like very symbolic in terms of what could be going on in your life right now, Leo. 
You seem to be wanting to move away from individuals that are playing with you, but just leave you with wounds all over the place. Leave you like bleeding, like like with open wounds, just bleeding out like, oh, it was all just fun and games. Fuck you. Don't take everything so seriously. Fuck you. Let's get into the rest of your reading, Virgo. Virgo? Whoa. Okay, let's stop for a second, Leo. I understand that Virgo comes right after you in the Zodiac, but I'm working on the fire signs right now. I haven't even thought about the earth signs yet. So I wonder, first of all, I wonder what's gonna come out for that Virgo reading now. Uh, but second of all, you might be a Leo Virgo cusper, or you might be dealing with a Virgo, or you might have certain Virgo placements. Anyway. Let's move forward, Leo. Okay, we're gonna get into the first half and the second half of your reading. First half of your reading is going to look at the, the, the past energy up until the current situation. Second half of your reading is going to look at the current, current energetic vibe that you find yourself in off into the future. Yes? Excellent. First set of surrounding energies for you, Leo, in the first half of your reading. The Six of Pentacles. Baby, it all comes down to reciprocity. That's literally what I heard when I saw this card. It all comes down to reciprocal energies. I'm just looking at the, the two sides to this card. Obviously, it came out upright because, I, as I said, I don't allow my cards to live in the deck in reverse. You know, what I'm getting from this, Leo, is you might be looking real stingy right now. And this isn't just about money. What I heard there is this is you probably looking real stingy with your time and your energy. Again, this is how people are re perceiving you on the surface. But quite frankly, if the situation isn't reciprocal, if it's just leaving you drained at the end, there is no amount of of, of fixing that can that can change the situation if the other people involved don't want to shape up, don't want to change their ways. So people can call you stingy all you want, selfish all they want, excuse me, they can call you stingy or selfish all they want, but that doesn't change the reality that they're not really giving back in a reciprocal way. They're doing nothing but take, 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 take. Self-preservation self is key here, Leo, right? Six of Pentacles is coupled with the Four of Swords. So in the past, what helped you get to this position, Leo, was you recognizing the lack of reciprocity in the energies of a situation, of a circumstance with, in, with other people, and you taking a step back and saying, whoa, wait a second, what's really going on here? Four of Swords. Meditate, meditating on it. Contemplating it. Really working on taking some time to yourself to understand what is actually going on here, which has led you to a point where you're like, no, I'm not giving anymore. And thus people label you stingy. So the fuck what? Second set of surrounding energies for you, Leo. You have the two of pentacles, bringing balance into your life. So you took some time, you stepped away and you were like, Let's really analyze this. Let's see this for what it truly is. Let's figure out what's going on here. And then you take steps to bring greater balance into your life, two of pentacles. And this is more than just the temp. No, well, this is not, I mean, it's not more than. It's also not less than the temperance energy. Temperance energy is major arcana. So this is like big time spiritual level type energy, right? The two of pentacles is very similar to the uh to the temperance energy in the ter in terms of bringing balance the two of pentacles also represents juggling in some cases right but it's about balancing act. it's about a balancing act juggling is balancing you're if you're juggling multiple balls or multiple items or multiple situations you have to find a way to balance them so you can continue juggling them so you don't drop one right 
So this is very much like the temperance energy, but this is you bringing balance into your physical life. So it's literally like the temperance energy coming through, channeling through you and finding a physical, finding physical representation in your life, right? I hope that's making sense. Now, for some of you, you're recognizing with this two of pentacles what it is you've been juggling and what it is you no longer want to keep up with. That is the energy of you bringing balance into your life. So now in this energy of, whoa, let me stop a second and really see what's, what's being reciprocal and what, what are the reciprocal energies or the reciprocal situations and what aren't. That's when you start to look at or start to recognize what it is you've been juggling and saying to yourself, whoa, why am I even, why is this even part of the equation any longer? Two of pentacles is coupled with the ten of pentacles. Yes. An end. Bringing an end to this. Stopping this in its tracks. This is literally like a scratch type energy. Like, whoa, pump them brakes because we're done here completed this. I am not juggling this shit any longer. But the Ten of Pentacles is, yes, representing the ending of it, but it's representing more, Leo, the learning of a lesson, a lesson having been learned. There's nothing wrong with juggling, especially if you, if you can handle it. Like, if you're good, then juggle all you like till your heart's content, baby. Do it. But what the lesson is being learned here, Leo, is what it is that's necessary to juggle and what is not. No longer allowing yourself to take on risks or to take on things to, to, to have to handle or be responsible for that you were never even really supposed to be. It was never your thing to be responsible for to begin with. But because of your sense of loyalty, because of your sense of community, what because of your, your unconditionally loving nature, whatever, you allowed yourself to take things on that were not yours to juggle. And now you're putting an end to it. Your challenge, Leo, in the first half of your reading is the fool. Your challenge is taking a leap of faith and moving in a new direction, completely leaving certain elements of your life behind. <laughs> and not giving a fuck about it. The fool. This is one of those rare situations where the nonchalant energy of the fool is really important here. Because you're not supposed to care. You're not, you're really, you really are not needing, you don't need to care about the opinions or the voices of others that have been doing nothing but holding you down. And for some of you, that has been the lesson all along. Stop giving so much of your time and attention to individuals that don't do the same for you. And that constantly come around talking about what they expect from you or expressing what they expect from you. But then anytime you do the same, it's, up, it's, like, it's like a personal attack on them. No fucks given, Leo. That's your challenge in the first half of the reading in relation to the past. Not giving a fuck and moving on. The fool is coupled with the Ten of Cups. Whoa! The Ten of Cups is representing two things here for you, Leo. First of all, it's representing the community. And it, it, the, when the Ten of Cups represents community, that can be a good thing, but it, it also can be a bad thing. Because in that case, if it means a bad thing, if it's representing a not so good thing, a fairly negative situation, this is the community outweighing you or outweighing the, the subject of the situation and it's in an, in an unhealthy way. This is you moving away from that. That's your challenge. There is a community tie here that you are wrapped up in that have their thorns in you, okay? that have their hooks in you, that have their claws in you saying, you can't leave us. Bullshit. I will take these thorns. I will take your claws. I will take your hooks out of me and I will move forward. Now, the Ten of Cups is also representing your emotional happiness, your ultimate emotional happiness and wish fulfillment, Leo. Your challenge here is to move on towards that. Whatever it is that will make you happy, do it. 
because you deserve to be happy. And if anyone is going to make you happy first, it needs to be yourself. Then you can work on doing whatever it is you can to help others feel happy too. But also remember, Leo, you can't do it all for them. It's definitely, damn sure, not your responsibility to ensure someone else's happiness. Closing message or potential outcome, Leo, for the first half of your reading. Damn, yo, there's that King of Cups again. Need I say more? I mean, I think it's pretty obvious at this point. The King of Cups is representing that energy of you doing what's right for you, regardless as to what someone else has to say about it, because you know it's the right thing to do. King of Cups is coupled with the Ten of Swords. Yo, Leo. Let's move on. Second half of your reading. Yes, uh, we're going to be looking at the current surrounding energies off into the future for you. <clears throat> First set of surrounding energies for you, Leo, in the second half of your reading. Who is the devil? You know what's interesting, Leo? Looking at the devil here, it's almost as if, I, I'm hearing devil's advocate. Maybe, I, I, this, ah, wow, Leo. It feels like the, the devil here is actually on your side. Because what I'm getting from, if you look at this, this version, this part of the devil here, again, it's not reversed, it's upright, all right? But this, this side of the devil, this upright version of the devil, kind of looks like the devil has all this stuff for you that there, he's propositioning you for. Or he's saying, look at all this over here. Don't you want this? And you're sitting there like, no. No, I don't. But you see, this is working in your favor, Leo. And maybe this is just your perception, your perspective that is allowing me to see the devil at, in this way as in working on your side, on your behalf. Even though there's temptation here, even though there's a level of individuals coming through trying to tempt you or the devil, him or herself coming through saying, don't you, but really, like, don't you want this? And you're sitting there like, <laughs> nope. <laughs> no, dude. I sure don't. And thank you so much for doing that because I'm really seeing what that represents. That's why the devil is working in your favor here. Because it's it's coming forward, propositioning you, tempting you, saying, we've got this, this, and this for you. Don't you just love that? Don't you just want that? Isn't this just like the sweetest deal ever? And you're looking at it like, no, because that is exactly what I am trying to get away from. So thank you, devil, for putting me onto that. Because no, I don't want that. <laughs> The devil is coupled with the Wheel of Fortune, Leo. Oh my God. Are you, yo, yo, this is so good. Because this is you changing the game. This is you literally recognizing things, seeing the, seeing the devil for what it truly is and consciously stepping your fine ass off that karmic hamster wheel. Fucking right, Leo. <laughs> Oh my God. Okay, second set of surrounding energies for you, Leo, in the second half of your reading. You've got the Seven of Swords. But what I'm getting for you, Leo, in terms of this is that you are recognizing the deceptive nature of certain people around you or at least just the circumstances. You see it clearly for what it truly is. The Seven of Swords is coupled with Wow. Oh, like, hey, look, another card has come out in reverse that I have forgotten. It didn't make it back into the deck upright, but it's perfect. It's the Four of Cups in reverse. This is interesting. 
Because in this case, what I'm getting, just by looking at the card, the Four of Cups in reverse in this way can represent the opposite of what the Four of Cups usually means, which is missing an opportunity or not taking an opportunity in front of you that's being offered to you. And that makes sense at this point, now that I just talked through it in that way, because what I'm getting here from the Seven of Cups and this Four, I'm sorry, the Seven of Swords and the Four of Cups in reverse in this, in this case for you, Leo, is you are taking the opportunity to get yourself away from deceptive situations. Whereas if the Four of Cups were to be upright, I would be reading that as you're seeing things, you're seeing deceptive things happening, but you're like, nah, I don't want to deal with it. Uh, avoiding dealing with it. But I think you're handling it. I mean, it makes sense. It goes with what we're saying here, Leo. But like, this is you absolutely taking the opportunity to say no more. To trust yourself and say no more to this deceptive energy. Your challenge, Leo, in the second half of your reading is the Three of Wands. Keeping your focus, continuing to maintain the momentum that you have going on to move you forward in your path. To receive, actually, whatever it is that you're meant to be receiving. And part of this prep or preparing for that energy right now, Leo, is you making space for something that is actually meant for you, that is truly meant to be coming into your life. As a result of you stepping off this karmic hamster wheel, okay? The Three of Wands in your challenge is, couple, is coupled with the Five of Pentacles. Wow. And this Five of Pentacles here is looking like somebody crawling on the ground, almost crawling after you. Like, please take me with you. Please don't leave me behind. But you see, the problem, Leo, is that even if you were to say, take them with you or give them another chance, they'd still be in this five of pentacles energy, this woe is me, this I need you to do for me, this, that, and the third, that you don't need. That you have, in many cases, many of you have stepped out of this energy yourself. So you cannot allow someone that still is swimming in that pool, that cesspool, to come along with you. Because they are going to continue to bring that energy along with and that's exactly what you're trying to get away from so this literally feels like you keeping your mind your eyes focused ahead of you focused on where it is you're trying to go and not allowing anyone that's crawling after you kind of like uh, grabbing at your ankles like, eh, what was me please don't leave me no 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 Closing message or potential outcome for you, Leo, is the fucking tower. <sighs> this is excellent. This is so excellent. What this feels like, Leo, is something that, again, like I said in the beginning of the reading, something that has needed to end for decades. It feels like the longest time this tower is finally coming down. And what I'm hearing is you couldn't be any happier about it. <laughs> Good for you. The tower is coupled with the what? The world. Stop it. I've had enough. I've had enough of y'all, man. Look at this shit. Look at this shit, Leo. You can't make this stuff up, baby. The tower is finally coming down. The situation, the circumstance, the toxic energies are finally leaving your life. It's finally coming to an end, Leo. For good. And this is because you are seeing the toxic energies for what they truly are. Closing message is going to come from the Crystal Mandala deck. Five shuffles here. One. Closing message for my Leo's please spirit. This is two. This is three, 
This is four. And this is five. Closing Oracle Guidance, please, Spirit, for my Leos for this message. For my Leos. There. Leo, you better stop. <laughs> Card number 13. And you guys know what the number 13 is. Death. Yes, honey. Okay. But you have card number 13. Archangel Adnashio and Tiger's Eye. Tiger Spirit Rises. Like, I know, Leo, okay, fine, you're a lion and this is a tiger, but like at the same time, you better fucking do it. Because the lion, tiger energy is just as passionate as lion energy, okay? Lion energy tends to be a little more self-preserving, like a little bit more selfish, like, mm, I'm not even gonna waste my time associating with you because like, I'm not trying to waste my energy. And then tiger is like, yeah, how may I help you? Uh-huh. Yeah. I'm looking for something to do. <laughs> yeah, I am. Oh. Shit. Okay. Excellent. <laughs> Let's read this. <laughs> I fucking love this for you, Leo. All right, here we go. Tiger Spirit Rises. We bring you the gift of the Tiger Spirit Rising. You are being empowered with a truth more potent than fear. Your spirit is rapidly expanding beyond what opinion and logic can contain. It needs to be free to run wild with divine grace in the world. Your life, your destiny, your divine fulfillment requires that you have the courage to roar for love, to refuse to be put down, to respect yourself, and to let your untamed, loving heart be free. Your spirit creates a field of divine electricity through your body and mind that can liberate others from conformity and social conditioning, allowing them to, to break away from systems based in control and fear. As your tiger spirit rises, you excite and empower the, the tiger spirit in others to rise above conditioning as they discover the wild divine spirit being they are in truth. Can't make this shit up. I love you guys so freaking much. I hope you have a fantastic month. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading very, very soon. Yes? Excellent. Take care. Mwah! Bye. <laughs>